Hey guys, this is Benji. I have a saber here that is super cool and I'm easily the first, <laughs> gotta be. This is a video on a good friend of mine. Um, he's kind of a piece of shit. Uh, no, he designed this star killer. This is the Raxus lightsaber. Uh, this is really cool to see. Um, I'm pretty sure everyone knows, uh, they've heard of the name Solo Sabers. Um, he's kind of a menace, but um, he does really good work. Jeremy designed his first Starkiller, uh, his first run of Sabers that he partnered with um, SP. Sean at SP Sabers uh, did the run for him, so, or they collaborated together. And um, this is his design of a Star Killer, and Jeremy loves Star Killer, it's just one of his favorite lightsabers. If not, being it is his absolute favorite. He designed this one after the uh, the two a two uh, conversion. Like um, you've seen uh, the Star Killer two I've done a few on this channel um, for myself and with the people. Uh, this one is uh, his interpretation of basically a Star Killer two as a kit to do whatever you want. So it has options, different options for the bars, different options for uh, screws and whatnot. It's basically a kit for a star killer for you to kind of do your own thing on, which is just awesome. Now this one uh, is his personal. This was his uh, prototype. Uh, and it is my first interaction with the spinning crystal chamber. So. This is pretty awesome. I'm gonna show you some features, and um, I just this as soon as I got this in, I was like, "Yeah, that chassis is awesome." So, this is the Taco Shop chassis, right? And this guy is just gorgeous. It, when it when it, it goes with this saber so well. So Carlos at the Taco Shop designed this chassis. Um, when Jeremy reached out for, uh, to him and was like, hey, can you design a chassis for my run? And after that, I immediately was like, yo, can I follow in your footsteps? Because I'd love to see him do something like that for uh, my run. So I have a taco shop chassis for my uh, personal corpus, the speeder bike style hilt that I that I um, worked on with, with Leon over at Jawas. And um, just thought it was really cool. So he has Raxus and I had corpus and like it's all like a brother twins type thing going on but this chassis is so stinking cool um i'm gonna go ahead and cut it on and uh and talk about it but i'm sure you guys have seen videos it's got a board cover and it's got a 18 350 battery spinning chamber oled i mean this thing's decked out and what's really cool is once you turn it on his logo is there capturing that but it's an arabesh solo savers logo pops up and then a bar graph and then of course you got your crystal and then whatever you power it on spin the chamber and I was just like that's so sick of it Crystal lights up. And this thing is loud. This thing's really loud. I was just like totally blown away. I didn't, I didn't put this thing down for days, days on end. I mean, how cool is that? So. Another cool feature of this build that he did, which is just a really cool. As a display guy, I'm a huge fan of this. This is really cool. Um, so once you put the body back on, so these all come separate, right? Your bars, your plates, which he heat stained, um, all come separate. And that pommel's opened up and hugged right. I mean, when you design your pommel with the sound resonance and the speaker and the chassis all in mind. You just like, you, you optimize that sound quality and you get easily the best sound quality um, you can get out of it. So it's on a timer, obviously. 
But let's go ahead and uh, I'm gonna show you what I'm talking about. So this one right here is on a magnet. So you can slide that down and expose the spinning part of the chamber that was on display. That's just too cool, man. It looks so cool. And then if you had it on a stand, you know. Saber only has uh, three fonts on it, I think, and I don't have a, a, a the seven eighth inch blade. Uh, my blade was just a tad bit too tight, so I'd have to sand mine, and um, I opted not to do it because it works really well on all my other seven eighths. So um, that was just me not wanting to really try to force a blade in, because this not being my saber and me not wanting to mess up my blade or anything, uh, we're just not gonna do a blade demo for this one, <laughs> so. Um, but it works, obviously it's Jeremy's and, and, and it works. Uh, he uh, has it in his video. This dude is so stinking cool to see come together. Um, the chamber is just awesome. He heat stained it so you have some bluing in there. Uh, this back chamber piece, I think, I can't remember if he had that made by Carlos and then got it from Craft Cloud, I'm not sure, but that's an additional chamber piece. There's different eyes I think you can choose from. The kit comes with a lot of different stuff, but let's go ahead and check out uh, the other two fonts. Oh, this one's cool, actually. This font's wild. I haven't heard this font before. <laughs> So loud. Ridiculously loud. this thing it sounds insane it's so loud <laughs> this thing is so cool <laughs> fucking wild you kind of see a little bit of the OLED in there turn it over and see the OLED I don't know if you guys can see it in there but how cool is this freaking thing There's just so many options to mess with. I can't wait to mess with mine. Peace is a lie. So loud. Good lord, this thing is loud. But you know, it's just my... I love it. I love moving a sa uh, saber and it just being like... This thing is alive. <laughs> Alright, that's gonna do it for this.
this one. This is such a cool honor to get to this and play with it. I was so curious out of the sabers he sent me, which I'm gonna do a couple videos on. Um, he has a batch of sabers that he sent me and I was like, heck yeah, man, I'm gonna do some videos on sabers that I haven't. Um, and that's so super cool. I love that. And yeah, so hope you guys enjoyed that. Um, and uh, I've got a couple more I'm gonna do. So you're gonna see the same background, same video, same clothes. <laughs> but until next time, it's been forced to be with you. He's stuck up, half witted, scruffy looking nerd herder. Scruffy looking.